Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to talk about the mysteries of this beautiful planet known as Mercury. You're going to find out some of the things that we still don't really know or understand about this beautiful planet and you also might actually get to learn about some speculations and explanations of these unusual mysteries. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> Unfortunately for Mercury, compared to other planets, it actually hasn't received as much uh, scientific attention. We've studied Venus quite a lot, we've studied Mars even more, we've studied Jupiter and Saturn, and even Uranus and Neptune. Even Pluto had a really cool mission, but unfortunately for Mercury, uh, not that many missions have ever reached this planet, and there's actually quite a lot of reasons for it. One of the reasons is, of course, is that it's so close to the Sun that it's actually um, quite difficult to launch a mission here. It requires quite a, quite a lot of um, you know, propellant, but at the same time, um, the fact that it's so close to the sun means that there's also a lot more solar radiation and uh, various solar activities that can actually destroy the probe. But nevertheless, we did launch at least one mission back in the 70s and uh, one mission relatively recently in uh, 2012. Uh, this so-called messaging probe has actually studied uh, uh, this beautiful planet quite a thoroughly and has discovered uh, a lot of new things about it. Uh, but today we're actually going to focus on the mysteries, on things that we just don't understand. We're, we need to discover some of the things about this planet to understand how our solar system was formed and to understand basically more things about our own planet Earth. And of course, the first mystery is in relation to the core of this planet. Uh, it contains a lot of iron. 46% um, of uh, this planet is iron and this is actually a lot a lot more than anything else in our solar system even our own planet earth only has about 24 percent uh 24.7 percent as iron but mercury has a lot more uh the iron core here makes this planet very very dense and we're not really sure why we're not sure why there's so much metal we're also not sure what this metal actually does on the inside of mercury and we're also not sure if it's still liquid and molten or if it, if it actually has solidified and become um, a piece of large metal ball. But one of the suggestions and one of the explanations is that maybe just maybe a long time ago, Mercury was actually larger. Let's just say it was about eight masses of the moon and had slightly less metal. And then just so like it happened to Venus and Earth, uh, something smacked into it. Okay, let's try this again. Something smacked into it and basically um, a huge layer of rock has actually been thrown off and the metal inside remained. So maybe it, it didn't have that much metal before or the actual metal was much less in proportion to the actual um, rock, but then uh, a collision caused this planet to kind of uh, separate and a chunk of rock flew away from it. So that's one of the explanations. But of course, we're not going to know if this is true for a very, very long time until we can actually settle um, as a colony on this planet and study it in a little bit more detail. Anyway, let's talk about the second mystery. And the second mystery is in regards to the atmosphere. And so here, if you actually look at this planet, it does um, have just a little bit of atmosphere. And what's interesting is that somehow this atmosphere is constantly replenished. So there's actually hydrogen here, there's helium here, but we're not sure what exactly is happening and how this atmosphere is maintained. It should technically have no atmosphere. It's relatively small. It's very, very close to the very powerful sun. And so the sun should have already stripped all of the atmosphere away from it. But it turns out that the atmosphere is there. And what we think is happening is that maybe, just maybe, the atmosphere is actually from the sun. Maybe the sun, helium, and hydrogen particles strike the uh, surface of Mercury, stay here for a little bit, and then fly off into the abyss, forming a kind of a tail behind Mercury, which we actually have detected. But maybe this is not correct, and maybe hydrogen and helium come from somewhere on the surface. We don't know. And the other mystery is actually in regards to that tail that forms behind Mercury, and I'm going to try to recreate this by doing the following. I'm going to actually increase the atmosphere so you can actually see what the tail looks like, uh, because as soon as I do that, Mercury is going to start burning away its atmosphere, especially if I place it a little bit closer to the Sun. So we're going to try to simulate this 
by placing it really, really close to the sun. So there we go. So there's actually a kind of a tail. It's not obviously as dramatic as this, but there's a tail of hydrogen and helium behind Mercury. And we've detected this tail. And uh, we think that maybe that's from the atmosphere, but maybe once again, it's from the sun. We're not entirely sure what forms this tail, but it's definitely there. And the particles that are formed behind it are essentially thrown off into the outer solar system and then continue on their way to other planets, possibly Jupiter and possibly even our own planet Earth. So that's essentially the so-called um, Mercury's hydrogen tail. That's about uh, 15,000 miles or about uh, 24, 23,000 kilometers in length. So it's a pretty, pretty long tail. Now, one of the other mysteries is actually in regards to the craters on Mercury. If you've ever looked at Mercury's surface and then if you actually compare it to the surface of our own moon, you may realize that uh, there's actually a lot of similarity. They are both very, very cratered. They both have a lot of interesting formations, but the formations on the moon are much deeper. They're actually much, much deeper, whereas these formations are much more shallow. And we're not entirely sure why. Also, Mercury seems to have uh, more um, more of these uh, formations. It has more craters on the surface, which may suggest that either it is actually older than the moon, um, which, which is very likely, or um, that it received more collisions because it was so much closer to the sun. Uh, and the other thing is that, uh, well, since these formations are much more shallow, it either means that Mercury's surface is much, much harder than the moon, or maybe, just maybe, that the actual um, rocks that were orbiting so close to the sun were moving a little bit slower, but that's kind of unlikely because the actual velocities here are much higher than they are close to the moon and Earth. So, once again, we're not sure why the craters here are so different from our moon's craters, because they should technically be the same. And speaking of formations on the surface, there's also the mystery of whether this planet had volcanoes at some point. There's actually a few formations, like the ones that you can kind of see right here and maybe in a few other areas that sort of resemble volcanoes on our own planet Earth. And if there were volcanoes, what's the mechanism that actually allowed them to function? Because right now there's definitely no vol volcanic activity on this planet. And um, because so many of these craters are actually filled with vo volcanic material, we're actually very curious to find out if there was at some point uh, some kind of a tectonic activity as well, similar to the planet Earth where the actual plates move around, uh, which also might even suggest that maybe there was liquid water, but currently that's very unlikely because this planet was very likely always very hot above the boiling of liquid water. Now, next mystery is actually in regards to the magnetosphere. Now, Mercury is one of the few planets that are terrestrial planets that has it. Um, obviously, Earth has a very large magnetosphere that's about this big. Mercury is much smaller, but it is present. Venus doesn't have it. Mars doesn't have it. Many of the moons seem to not have it as well, but uh, there is actually at least one moon uh, known as um, Ganymede, uh, the moon of Jupiter, that does uh, have magnetosphere. Uh, but uh, for some reason, Mars and Venus, which is really the important ones for us, don't have anything, but this guy does. What causes it? We don't know. This is a planet that's smaller than Venus, smaller than Mars. It's actually about the size of some of the moons. Like, for example, here is comparison to Titan. Here is comparison to uh, Europa, which is a little bit smaller, I guess. And here's Ganymede. It's actually even smaller than Ganymede. Way, way, way smaller than Mars. And of course, way, way, way smaller than Venus as well. Uh, but this planet does have magnetosphere. So it might actually be caused by the large iron in the center. But if that's the case, how exactly does it work? And how is it able to maintain the magnetosphere while other planets seem to have lost it? And so until we actually go there and study in more detail, I don't think we're going to find out. Anyway, next mystery is actually in regards to the possibility of having ice on the surface of this planet. And there's actually quite a lot of it that we found. Most of it was found through various spectroscopy techniques where ice was actually reflected from the surface or reflected light from the surface so we could actually see it. But when you think about it, this planet is so close to the sun, it is so, so hot. So why is there actually ice here? Well, and the answer to that might actually not be a mystery. The answer to that is actually relatively simple. This planet does have poles. There's one here, there's also one here. This planet also doesn't have any atmosphere or almost has no atmosphere. Um, the atmosphere here is not enough to actually circulate air or circulate temperature around uh, the surface. So because uh, it has very little atmosphere and because it has poles, 
some of these features here are ridiculously cold. They actually stay way below um, the freezing temperature of water. And this is actually where liquid water might uh, reside. And uh, since there is liquid water, there's a possibility of maybe even liquid water somewhere. But we don't know. We don't know until we go there and explore the planet. So that's, of course, a mystery for us. And that's something we're hoping to discover one day in the future. Now, next mystery is in regards to the size of this planet. We've discovered that because it looks so squeezed in, it might actually be shrinking. It might be actually decreasing in size. Uh, obviously, the mass is not changing like, like it is here. So maybe we can actually hold the mass here. It's not going to work. Okay, the game is not letting me do it. But yeah, the size is actually changing and the planet is shrinking. Why? Once again, we don't really know. But it's uh, possible that it's actually cooling down on the inside and the actual core is causing it to become smaller and then shrink. So that's the only explanation we currently have for why this planet is so squeezed in and why it's possibly shrinking. And the other mystery here is the so-called spider. Now, this is actually a formation on the surface of Mercury that is kind of baffling the scientists. One of the reasons why it's so baffling is because, well, essentially, these cracks right here, there's an impact uh, crater in the center, there's something around it, and then there is these cracks that kind of don't really make much sense. And basically, this is actually the only such shape in our solar system. We haven't really seen it anywhere else in the solar system. And this is what it looks like from the side here. And the only explanation so far is that maybe after the impact, something caused the volcanic activity and the vol volcanism actually caused this to form um, after the actual collision. But that's the only explanation we have. And maybe we can simulate what kind of happened here by colliding like a small little asteroid on the surface here and just to see if we can maybe simulate this and as you can see that I don't think it's actually going to cause the same formation to occur oh and this also might happen I don't know why but anyway so once this disappears you'll see that the actual formation is very different from what this is so there must have been some kind of a volcanic activity afterwards and so essentially spider is the so-called uh, surface mystery of this beautiful planet now, the last mystery here is in regards to the so-called missing or possibly missing planet that may have been um, between Sun and Mercury or may have actually been the Mercury itself. Many of the exoplanets we found or many of the actual um, extra solar systems that we discovered with the exoplanets seem to have at least one or usually um, more than one a gas giant orbiting somewhere relatively close to, uh, to the surface of the star and so usually there's at least one gas giant and many of these gas giants after many many years lose all of their gas and become what's known as the ktonic planets they basically become the burned surfaces because all of the gas is gone and so one of the mysteries is that you know whether mercury was actually at some point a gas giant and then lost all of its gas relatively quickly and became a ketonic planet i've actually talked about this previously and you can check out the video um right here but that's a mystery we don't know if that's true or not but it might be true and anyway so that's all i wanted to talk about in this video i basically wanted to describe various mysteries that we have about mercury and give you an idea of what we actually don't know about it just yet in the next video, we're going to talk maybe about another planet or maybe about something completely different. But for now, let's take Pallas, launch it at Mercury, and enjoy the explosions. Awesome. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you still haven't, share this video with your friends, and possibly even support me on Patreon because it does help me get better equipment. I'm going to warm up Mercury until it's super hot, and we're going to make it very, very beautiful. Oh, there we go. Excellent. I'll see you guys in the next video. Give me later. Bye-bye.